Hello guys, today in this quick video I just wanted to show you two new features released this week in Laravel 8.69. First of them is value or fail. And with that, maybe you didn't know some other or fail features. Let's take a look at the example. So probably most of you know that when you do find, you can also do find or fail by ID and then it would throw 404 if it doesn't find the object. So for example, if the URL is users slash two and it points to this controller method, it would throw 404 if the user is not found. But did you know that there is first or fail? So you can do user where, whatever condition, and then do first or fail if you need the first record. So where, for example, name admin, first or fail, without ID. So all the condition is here, it's not the ID. And then, do we have an admin? No. But do we have, from what I remember, would you have first DD user? Yep, it exists. So it doesn't throw 404. So it's not new in 861, it was all the time first or fail. Maybe some of you didn't know. But new in 861 is value or fail. And I want to show you a few examples with that. So I've come up with such a function. It's artificial function. It's not really a real life example. Show by name. For example, you want to have a user ID by name, for example. So user ID name is our URL, user ID, and for example, whatever. By default, it would throw an error if you try to do it like this. User wear something first and then try to take the property. And if that doesn't exist, if that doesn't return anything, it would throw an error of ID or null. Here you can, of course, use the same that I've just shown you, first or fail. And then you would not get the exception of error you will get a beautiful 404 page. But also, if you need one row and one value from that row, there's a function, maybe you don't know that in Laravel, called value. So again, you have a condition, whatever is the condition, and instead of doing first and then one field, you do value ID, like this. If we launch that with whatever user ID, it would not return anything, but it doesn't throw an exception. So if you do value, then you need to check the value specifically whether it was found or not. And this is where we get to that new thing in Laravel 8.61, Dark Ghost Hunter, submitted value or fail. So value or fail will also, like first or fail, like find or fail, will show beautiful 404 page. Well, not that beautiful, but you can customize it. It's a default 404 page. And by the way, I have a separate video on customization of those pages. I will link that in the description below. And by the way, another thing, another person submitted another or fail in this latest version, delete or fail. And there was also update or fail submitted earlier in 8 point something version. But to be honest, I've never really had a case where I had to do that. If I do update or delete, which is like sensible, I do try catch instead, instead of just or fail showing like 404 page. So I just briefly mentioned you can play around with that, but I wouldn't really advertise this function. Another new function, what I wanted to show you is adding a policy option when you make model. So first, again, backstory, maybe some of you don't really know what was before even 861. So PHP artisan make model, for example, book has some properties, some flags. So dash M is for migration. So it would generate migration. If we do that, it generates the model and the migration for that model. But there are more options like controller, resource controller, then it generates of course, the book exists, whatever, model, category, something. It generates model, migration, and controller. Then there are more flags, that which are all under umbrella of dash dash all. So for example, make model wallet, for example, dash dash all. And look how many things it would generate. Model, factory, migration, seeder, controller, and policy. And policy is a new thing in Laravel 61 adds policy to make model. So you can do, for example, make model, I don't know, food with dash dash policy specifically, and look what it generates. App policies, food policy to all the methods and including your user and including your food model as a parameter. 
So if you use Laravel policies, it would be more convenient to generate them within the model comment generator. So that's it for this time. Do you enjoy new Laravel editions? They come every week, every Tuesday from what I remember is the release day. And if you want to get all the news quicker, subscribe to the channel because I keep shooting daily videos. And as soon as I find out some news about new features, I will totally bring it to you guys on this channel. See you guys in another video.